coming up after such a distinguished panel of uh, Deputy Assistant Secretary, Ambassadors, uh, Deputy Minister is difficult. Uh, before I do that, I want to thank the organizers, the Turquoise uh, Council, um, uh, Kemal Oksuz, um, and also thank the ambassador, uh, Ambassador Suleimanov, who is doing a terrific job. You taught uh, a great pupil, and another pupil uh, coming from that embassy, uh, of course, is uh, Foreign Minister Mohamed Yarov. Um, so, uh, in the sense of the last 20 years, uh, I believe Azerbaijan is de doing terrifically, at least as far as its diplomatic corps is concerned. Um, and um, we um, uh, are trying to uh, understand what is it, what it takes to have a successful 20 years. And I do believe that it, these were very successful 20 years considering the baseline. Uh, recovering of independence after 70 years, um, uh, having a war, uh, not having an oil development because the government in Moscow preferred the Siberian oil development to the Caspian oil development. Um, so it took faith, it took vision, it took common sense and realism and commitment and if these principles we take back now after the 20 years, we are looking forward for the next successful 20 years. In which areas? First of all, in the area of uh, support, of the United States supporting our friend uh, and ally, Azerbaijan, in those challenges to its sovereignty that it remains. You have to have a minimum of sovereignty and security for economic development. Compare South Caucasus and North Caucasus. In South Caucasus, despite the wars, despite some amount of terrorism, some ethnic tension, the money was invested by the outside world, the economic ties expanded, the GDP of Azerbaijan grew tremendously, including from 2006 to 2012, it tripled. It's unbelievable. GDP tripled in six years. In North Caucasus, there's so much violence and terrorism, money doesn't go there. The Russians going out of their way to develop tourism, to develop skiing, and then uh, a party of Russian skiers go, goes in, their bus is ambushed, and a woman gets shot. Would you go ski to North Caucasus? I know I won't. Um, so you need support of sovereignty in order to have economic development. And Azerbaijan has challenges to its sovereignty, first, first and foremost from Iran, but also sort of a residual um, lack of acceptance from some circles in Moscow.